Let's be silent. Come and share a hug. Come, let's pray together. Come, love and be loved. From the blessed out to the turned out. From the pampered to the abused. This door is open to you. Come on. Good morning and welcome to Unity Renaissance in beautiful Chesapeake, Virginia. My name is Elaine Pan and I'm mightily blessed to be here with you today. We're going to get things started by singing a chant and it's about being connected to all there is. And it's called Rising Up and I know you'll catch on very easily. So please rise on up and let's sing. Oh, loving earth, oh, fiery sun, I feel your warmth, and we are one. The rain that falls, the wind that blows, fills my soul. Spirit, spirit, I feel your love in me. Rising up through infinity. Let's do it again. Oh, loving earth, oh, fiery sun, I feel your warmth, and we are one. The rain that falls, the wind that blows, fills my soul. Spirit, spirit, I feel your love in me. Rising up through infinity. One more time. Oh, loving earth, oh, fiery sun, I feel your warmth, and we are one. The rain that falls, the wind that blows, fills my soul. Spirit, spirit, I feel your love in me. Rising up through infinity. that falls, the wind that blows, fills my soul. Spirit, spirit, I feel your love in me. Rising up through infinity. Jam-packed, 
inspiring and, uh, and fun week there. So you'll hear more about that a little bit later. And next Sunday, we'll celebrate Reverend Richard. Uh, he got ordained this last week. So uh, looking forward to that. Really, really, really sweet time. And I got back a little early and glad that I did because it gave me the opportunity to go to the Gay Pride Festival yesterday. It was just such a beautiful event, such an inspiring event. Here's a, a collage of all of us who turned out to support, uh, to support our LGBTQ brothers and sisters and also to represent Unity Renaissance. What a, what a beautiful opportunity to connect with people looking for spiritual food, you know, and looking for a spiritual home. It was very touching. It was very moving. At one point, I was talking to a, a, young, a young guy, and he was telling me about his past not-so-great experience with more traditional church, and I start getting all choked up, and, and he goes, do you need a hug? <laughs> oh, no, I'm supposed to be doing that for you. <laughs> anyway, though, it's, these are all the folks who were there. I want to give a special shout-out, huge appreciation to Debbie Amy, who coordinated it all, just made everything go seamless. Seamlessly, all of our wonderful volunteers. I just want to point out one photo for you. This one on the upper right here uh, really touched my heart. So there was a gentleman walking around dressed as Jesus, and he was holding a sign that said Ally on it. And people were just flocking to have their picture made with him, including me, as you can see. But, um, oh, it was just so beautiful. I just loved it that he did that and represented the love that Jesus preached and taught and lived, and it really countered some of the uh, more traditional Orthodox preachers who were there uh, saying very different things to the people who were, who were attending. So it was just, just really lovely, very sweet day. Glad to be a part of that. Well, unity is positive, practical, progressive Christianity. We follow the teachings and the example of our way shower, Jesus, in seeking to more fully love ourselves, love God, and love one another. And from that beautiful consciousness of love here in unity, we honor all paths to God, all names for God, and all expressions of God. And each and every one of you, every single one of you, and every single one of you watching online today, you are an expression of God. As we say in unity, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And when we know that about ourselves and we connect with our inner divine light and we behold it in one another, that beautiful light just grows and grows, and it shines out ever more brightly to light up the world. Our vision at Unity Renaissance is, together, a spiritually awakened world, living in peace, love, and joy. And we are manifesting that vision through our mission, which is, together, we transform lives that transform the world. Man, I love it when you guys say that. So much feeling. Let's begin our time of transformation this morning in prayer. I invite you to get comfortable in your seat. Let's take a deep breath in. Close your eyes if you wish. <sighs> Release and let go. Just feeling the beautiful grace of God settle down upon you and stir within you. And sweet spirit, we're so grateful as we come together today in celebration of all the many ways in which you express in, through, and as us. We're grateful to have this time to come together to grow in our spiritual understanding, to feel that very deep level of unconditional love for one another, and to give our gifts and be blessed in return. And so for this beautiful service today, all that unfolds from it, we're so grateful. Thank you, God, and so it is. Amen. Well, it's my great pleasure to introduce our guest speaker and musician today, the wonderful Elaine Penn, who has, uh, she's, she's been to Unity Renaissance a time or two. I tell her she's part of the family here, no matter where she lives. Uh, let me give you a little bit of, of background on her. Elaine is an executive coach, motivational speaker, and a gifted singer-songwriter who inspires people wherever she goes. Elaine served for 10 years as the co-director of music at Unity in Greensboro. She has co-created three CDs of original music with Nancy Pitkin that inspire you to achieve your dreams. In fact, those are for sale out there in the narthex, right, after the service. Growing up in her family band, Elaine has been performing professionally most of her life. She weaves her music through her keynote talks, workshops, and retreats. And she currently sings jazz with several bands. 
Elaine is an avid believer in caring for the mind, body, and spirit, and I couldn't resist sharing this with you because it caught my attention. As a college athlete, Elaine won numerous athletic honors, including All-American in basketball and All-Conference in volleyball. She was inducted into the Greensboro College Sports Hall of Fame in 1996 when her basketball jersey was retired. That's really so cool. Today she teaches visioning, meditation, affirmations, healthy eating, and movement for enhancing your well-being and success. She's been on a personal development quest for 30 years, studying positive psychology and human potential. And today we are blessed to be the recipient of her wisdom and her many gifts. Please join me in giving a warm Unity Renaissance welcome to Elaine Penn. time for another song, and we're going to sing about that topic that Reverend Paula speaks about so eloquently, that is love. It's called We Got Love. I know you know it, so rise on up and let's sing together. Don't you know abundance is around you, everything in life's prosperity. It can be a blessing or a burden Guess it all depends on how you see So choose to see the good in everything Love, we got love Love Everybody's in this boat together, so we gotta take it all in stride. If there is not a storm that we can weather, if we feel the peace and love inside, just know life's ups and downs are all divine. Y'all lift it up, here we go. Love, we got love. Love, we got love When you feel you just can't kick the bad blues Take the time to meditate or pray Open up your heart to good around you Miracles will happen every day Just trust in love and always keep the faith That's right Love, we got love. Love, we got love. Y'all clap your hands. privilege. 
privilege to be up here, and I'm happy to see all of you here today. And I want to affirm with all of you that today is the most important day of your life. The most important day. For one, we're here. <laughs> and we're all together. But most importantly, it's because today is the next step on your spiritual journey. And today's daily word is spiritual journey. So please join me in reading today's affirmation. Together, I continue my spiritual journey with one spirit. My life is a spiritual journey that began long before my birth. I am on an eternal spiritual journey that leads me ever more deeply into the awareness of God's presence, awareness of oneness. Even when I have not been seeking, God has always been there. The psalmist says, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? No matter how far I have thought I strayed, a renewed awareness of God has always been as near as my next thought. When I have felt stuck or even lost on my spiritual journey, many times the thought of God has helped me find my way again. As I continue my spiritual journey, I go with God. For wherever I am, God is. Our scripture for today is from uh, Psalms, the 139th Psalm, uh, the seventh verse. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee? from your presence. And we have prayer chaplains today for all your prayer needs, for your uh, triumphs and for your challenges and for your celebrations. And I'd like to ask our prayer chaplains, Deb and Hazel, to stand up. You can recognize them by the beautiful prayer shows, uh, stoles. And um, let's all stand together for the singing of the Lord's Prayer. <laughs>
think we should give a round of applause to that music team. They're pretty amazing. Wonderful piano playing, wonderful vocals. You're really, really blessed to have. I think it extends beyond Richard, even though Richard's amazing. Wow, great team. It's an honor to be here playing with you guys. So thank you so much for that. And it's an honor to be here with, with all of you. Thank you for having me. My parents met when they were teenagers. They were performing in the Russ Carlton Big Band in Danville, Virginia. My mother was a singer, my father was a saxophone player, and they became instant best friends. They started dating two years later. They fell in love, they got married when my mother was 18 and my father was 20. They had four daughters and we always had a family band. Music was an integral part of our lives growing up. Our family's band would travel around and play for weddings and anniversary parties and dance cotillions and, and nightclubs, and it was really cool. My mother was the main singer. My three sisters and I also sang. My father played sax, of course, and we were surrounded by a host of other great musicians, and we entertained people with songs from the Great American Songbook. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's hits from about 1920 to 1960. And we did a whole lot of jazz standards, some 50s, because that's when my parents grew up, and then top 40 for the children. And it was just uh, an exhilarating way to go through childhood. Now, this was the early 70s, so my older sister and I would sit on our front porch writing songs about love and changing the world. Growing up in a musical family had a deep impact on my heart. It taught me to dream big, to believe in something greater than myself, and to know that God was always near, that anything was possible. You see, I think that my parents knew the beauty that music brings to the world, and they wanted us to know that too. I believe my parents knew that when you sing songs together, you tap into this universal longing for love and joy that we all have, and they were bound and determined to teach that to us as well. My family's band still performs together today. My mother's 78, my father's 80. So that's a great testament to my parents, they've held it together all these years. I learned so much growing up in this musical family. I learned to have the courage to follow my dreams. I learned that, that, as I said earlier, anything is possible. And when you tap into that essence of God, which exists in all of us, we're all capable of flying. And so you are too. You are too. So now we're going to sing a song together. And this song is from my and Nancy Pitkin's most recent CD, The Journey. It's called Learning to Fly, and it's about that very, very thing that if you get very still, you know that you can create and co-create with God the life of your desires, and it's called Learning to Fly. I desire 
Love is within, holding the light, showing me I can climb higher. I'm learning to fly, learning to fly, learning to fly, learning to fly. In many ways, growing up in my household was idyllic. My mother was a stay-at-home mom for much of my childhood and teenage years, and she was the quintessential day camp director. Every day was a new activity for us to do. It was always meaningful and fun, and she was this devoted servant in the community as well. My father traveled during the week working in sales. And he came home on the weekends, and it was action-packed with family, activities, and then of course we, were, we would go to church on Sundays. In the late 60s, my mother's brother, Randy, came to live with us. His father, my grandfather, no longer wanted him, so my parents took him in as their son, and they treated him exactly the same as they did my three sisters and me. He was raised as my brother. Eventually, they bought him an electric guitar, and he had his own rock band called the Sugar Shack. And they were just amazing. And he, he loved music as much as each and every one of us did. After he graduated from high school, my parents sent him to college in the mountains of North Carolina. And he was well on his way into adulthood. But then sadly, two months after his 19th birthday, Randy was killed in a car accident. It sent my mother into a severe depression. It was devastating for the entire family. I can remember that heartbreaking day like it was yesterday, and it was a long time ago. I was in the sixth grade. Now, tragedies like this have the potential to turn families upside down. They have the ability to change you forever. But my parents refused to let that happen. They brought us together. They gave us emotional and spiritual shelter and comfort. And more than anything, they taught us that no matter what we were facing, and it was, it was very challenging, but no matter what we were facing, that we can persevere and overcome anything because the power of love exists in each and every one of us, the power of healing and the presence of God. Now, eventually, we healed and we moved on because life moves on. And yes, we'll remember and honor Randy forever. But we have moved on and continued to thrive, even with that sad memory. And I attest that to that beautiful lesson that my parents taught us so long ago. And you know, that's a unity lesson, that you have everything inside of you to do anything you want, including heal. So I'm going to sing a song to you, and this is from our first CD, um, Love is the Way, and the name of this song is Find the Love.
Another powerful lesson my parents taught us is there is a tremendous power in giving back, in serving the community, and helping those in need. And it can often be done through the power of music. And I'm going to share a story with you that, that reminds me of this. It was 1990, and I was sitting in the auditorium of my old high school waiting for the show to begin. The lights flickered on and off letting the audience know there was five minutes left to the start of the show called Music, Music, Music. Eventually, the lights dimmed, the curtains opened, and we erupted into applause because up on the stage were 30 adults with Down syndrome, dressed in these beautiful costumes, getting ready to perform their lip-synced number to the song Delta Dawn. This was the fundraiser my mother produced for many years, and it was for a group called the DDA, Developmentally Disabled Adults of Rockingham County. Now every year, people from all over the community would, would audition, and they would be in the show, but the DDA always did the opening act. They always took the house down. My mother was director of Parks and Recreation in this small town where I grew up. It's called Madison, North Carolina. She'd gone back to college when she was 40 years old, and she majored in therapeutic recreation, and she made a vow that when she got out of school, that she would all, where, wherever she worked, she would always hold a place in her heart for anyone with any kind of disability. And that she did. She worked with the DDA from 1986 to 2011 when she retired the first time. They pulled her back in from retirement three times. But <laughs> the first time, she, she continued working with them that long, and she did a program for them every month. Sometimes it was a scavenger hunt. Sometimes it was a prom, because they didn't, they didn't get to go to proms. Dance, perhaps. Sometimes it was an Elvis party, because they loved Elvis. <laughs> but their favorite activity and their favorite event was music, music, music. Their parents made their costumes. They rehearsed their lines. You would have thought it was a Broadway production. Now, every year, my mother had a cast party at our house. And often, this was more entertaining than the show itself. At one cast party in particular, one of the DDA cast members, Jimmy, a man with Down syndrome, went missing in our house. Now, this was very worrisome because we have a kind of a big house. With an, it's an old house with an attic and a basement. He could have been anywhere. Eventually, though, my mother, after searching long and hard, found him in her bedroom. 
He was standing in front of the mirror, surrounded by a pile of her evening gowns that she sang in, and he'd been trying them on one at a time. So she, he was just checking himself out in the mirror. She stood there, she looked at him, and she gently said, Jimmy, you look very handsome. And she escorted him back to the party. My mother greatly enriched their lives. She served these people. She served them with music. She served them with her heart. And you know, and, and she never found a person that she didn't call a friend. And this is true in her retirement as well. She's still a public servant. She's a Rotarian. She serves on the United Way board. She's active in her church. My father's the same way. He's a Rotarian. He started the backpack program at our church where they fill backpacks for needy children. And they both still lead our family's band. They taught us that a life is best measured by what we give to other people. You know, they also taught me a valuable lesson in the power of gratitude. You know, we know all about that in unity, right? We know that gratitude is extraordinary because it creates miracles. It was just last week, and I was at a restaurant with my parents, and we were getting ready to go to big band practice. And we were getting ready to eat before we went to big band practice. And right before we took our first bite, my father stopped us because he wanted to say a blessing. He wanted to give thanks for not just the food, but for each other and for the music we were about to sing. Now, I know that sounds old-fashioned to some people. Not a whole lot of people say blessings anymore. But, you see, my parents believe that life itself is a blessing. And they believe that when you give gratitude to life and, and, and you give praise and we're grateful for the blessings we have in our lives, you get more. That's a unity principle, isn't it? I think Marianne Williamson was a person that said gratitude is, is the game changer in life. I believe it was Meister Eckhart who said if thank you is the only prayer we say, that will be enough. And so what I'd like for you to do right now is think of someone you're grateful for. It could be a grandparent or a parent or a teacher or Reverend Paula. Think of someone you're grateful for and hold them in your heart. Hey, and it doesn't have to be a person. It could be your animal companion. Someone or something. Hold them in your heart. And I want you to feel, feel how we, you're, it changes your vibration. Right? The minute we're grateful, it lifts our hearts. It lifts our vibration. Now I want you to hold that person or that animal in your heart during this next song. Because we're going to sing a song together. And this is a song about gratitude, about giving thanks and giving praise to life, to those we're grateful for, to our maker. It's called Because of You.
It was 1981, and I was a senior in high school. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it was Easter morning, and my mother had just made this delicious breakfast, and we devoured it, of course. And then we dove into our Easter baskets. In fact, my parents still give us Easter bags to this day. My father had his own tradition going, where he had corsages that he gave to his four daughters. He either wrapped them around our wrist or pinned them to us, depending on how old we were. I was a senior, so I got to have mine pinned to my Easter dress. And then we went off to the Easter service at our church. You see, my parents taught us early on the power in belonging to a spiritual community. As I grew older and needed more, and, and my needs changed, I longed for something different, I eventually found Unity Church in my early 20s. And I have to tell you, I immediately found another amazing spiritual community. But it was more than that. It's been my home for most of my adult life. This church has been one of those homes we attended when we here when we lived in Williamsburg. And Reverend Paula has continued to help making me feel like a part of the family. So thank you. But it's more, Unity Church is more than a spiritual community. And it's more than a home. It's another form of family, is it not? The minute I walked in the door, I know you feel the same way. The minute you walk in the door, you feel like you're at home, right? Didn't you feel like that the first time you came here? You feel a sense of love. You feel a sense of joy. There's a community of people around you. If you get off track for a minute, they're going to remind you that hope is just a breath away. You see, family means the world to me, all kinds of families. I was blessed to be raised by parents who taught me to have the courage to follow my dreams and that gratitude is the game changer, and to serve and give back, and that God, yes, it's God, and love is inside of me. I'm also blessed that they taught me about the power of music, and to understand that music has the power to lift your heart and connect hearts. But you know what? I think the most important lesson they taught me is that family extends beyond the bonds of blood. It lives wherever two or more people are gathered in a state of love. Well, Unity Church is that kind of place and that kind of family. You truly here are gathered in a state of love whenever you walk in this building and when you leave it, you take it with you. This is a place that gives so much to the community here and to the community outside of these walls. And I want to thank you for that. I want to encourage you to keep doing it. And you know what else? Unity is also the kind of family that understands the power of music, right? This is a place all the way across the country, but especially this place, it understands when you combine music and love, not only do you transform one heart, but you do have the power to transform the world. And when you do that, every single day of life is amazing. I'm going to sing one more song for you, and this is from our second CD. Uh, it's the title track to the CD. It's called Every Day Amazing. Every shooting star And 
when the thunder rolls for every falling rain I am giving thanks it all deserves my praise every day Every day amazed As I look back through all the years So many laughs mended my tears Each time my heart was on my sleeve I had my friends and family I feel it in my heart I feel it in my soul With every fading scar It taught me I am whole For all the joy and pain I am giving thanks It all deserves my praise Every day amazed Every day reached a place I understand that it's all grace and how lucky I am I feel it in my heart I feel it in my soul as I travel far and my life unfolds for every little thing I'll be giving thanks it all deserves my praise every day amazed every day Thank you. And so it is. Let's take some time to go into meditation, shall we? Thank you so much, Elaine. Oh, what a beautiful vibration in the room now. You feel it? So let's just take a moment to get comfortable in our seats. I invite you to take a deep breath in. Close your eyes if you wish. And let go. And breathing in again. This beautiful energy of love. This vibration of peace and oneness. And release into God. you to imagine for a moment as if you're breathing in and out through your heart space. Feeling there in this very center of your being grace and gratitude. Allow peace to wash over you as you truly do relax into this present moment and let go of any burdens, any concerns. Let go and let God.
Feel that beautiful, reassuring presence at the very depths of your being. That inner voice telling you that you are loved, you are safe, you are blessed, and you are a blessing. Allowing this beautiful presence of love and grace permeate every cell of your being as you relax and let go into God in the silence. gratitude bubbling up within us as we give thanks for this time together for this beautiful adventure called life. We give thanks for our guest speaker, musician, the beautiful Elaine Penn, for the wisdom and the beautiful lessons that her parents and her family shared with her and that now she has passed on to us as well. And for the gifts of this day and for the joy of the journey, we're so grateful. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. the time in our service for the sharing of our love offerings, our financial gifts, and support of this wonderful ministry. I invite you to give back in that beautiful flow of giving and receiving. And for those of you online, you are invited to give as well. And remember that if you would like, you can give via your phone, your smartphone. Just text the word GIVE to 540-418-1228. <laughs> and it's just as simple as this. Done. <laughs> All right. Will the ushers please come forward? I invite you to hold your gift in your hand or your phone in your hand, as the case may be, as we bless these offerings together. Please join me now in our offertory blessing together. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies 
all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Thank you, God. We sing one more song together. This one is not an original, but I'm sure you know it, and it's about that amazing power of love again. It's called Get Together. Please, if you don't mind standing, I can't stand it without you standing. Love is but a song we sing Fear's the way we die You can make the mountains ring Or make the angels cry Though the bird is on the wing You may not know Together, try to love one another right now. If you hear the song I sing, you will understand. You hold the key to love and fear, all in your trembling hand. Just one key unlocks them both They're free in your command Come on people now Smile on each other Everybody get together Try to love one another right now Some may come and some may go but we will surely pass Don't hold on to grief and pain Cause it's all in the past Understand that peace and love Are what truly lasts Let me hear y'all sing it up this time. Come on, people now. Smile on each other. Everybody get together. Try to love one another right now. Try to love one another right now. Try to love one another right now. Please come forward. Thank you so much. Gosh, great music. Let's take a moment to turn to gratitude within. Oh, just feeling such a sense of connection right now. Beautiful love and spirit here in this sanctuary. We're so grateful for these gifts, so generously shared. We're grateful for the gifts. We're grateful for the givers. That includes our children as well as our adults. And now we send these gifts forth out into the world as we do our work to transform lives that transform the world. Thank you. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. Thanks, you guys. This is a time in our service when we welcome those who are new to Unity Renaissance. If you're here today for the first, second, or third time, we invite you to raise your hand nice and high, holding up the appropriate number of fingers, one, two, or three, for your first, second, or third visit. One, two or three. <laughs> if you're here, we have some in the back over there too. Good. Some one right here. Welcome. All right, if you're here for the first time today, we got one back here. That's Bob over there with his hand up in the air. 
you're here for the first time today, there's a card in there in that bag. Fill it out, take it into the bookstore, and you get a free CD, a copy of a previous service. If you're here for the second time today, you get two CDs. One is a positive, uplifting music from Empower Music and Arts, and the other is Sacred Unity Recordings. And if you're here for the third time, or when you're here for the third time, you get a copy of the Daily Word, our daily devotional. Welcome to all of you who are new here, and we look forward to seeing you again and again. Twelve thirty, following uh, the service, we're going to have a community forum meeting. Um, so please get some refreshments and come back for the community forum. We're going to be talking about uh, where we are with our expansion plan, update on that, and uh, financial information, and also have a chance for some Q and A with the board of trustees. So come on back, twelve thirty, right here. Twelve thirty ish. And after the service today, you have an opportunity still to buy one of the VB Strong t-shirts. We're selling those as a, to benefit the families of the victims of the May 31st shooting. The shirts are $15 a piece. They come in adult and children's sizes. Every bit of the proceeds will go to the United Way Fund that has been set up to support those families. And then next Sunday, we will have Virginia Beach Strong Day right here at Unity Renaissance. So just a chance to really show our solidarity and support for our community. You're invited to wear your t-shirt if you bought one. And if you didn't, just wear blue. That would be the color of the day to, to show your support. Next Sunday is also our multi-generational service, which is going to be really incredibly wonderful next Sunday. So plan to join us for all of those things. It'll be a real celebration of community and oneness. I look forward to that. We have a new event here at the Unity Renaissance. Um, it is a search for God, and it's in conjunction with the ARE. And it's meeting every Thursday at 6 o'clock, 6 to 7, oh, no, sorry, every Tuesday at 6 to 7.30, starting this Tuesday. So please come on out for that. It's, gonna, it's a great discussion group uh, that's starting here um, just new this Tuesday. Our next Higher Consciousness film is an oldie but a goodie. It's called Three Lives of Thomasina. Anybody seen that movie? All right, then. Um, anyway, it, it is, it's an old Disney film. It's a great family film. It's very funny. It's about a cat that has nine lives and donates a few of her lives to help other people. And, uh, yeah, it's funny. It's great. Anyway, 7 o'clock on Friday, July the 5th. In the interest of time, we're just going to skip over the preview, but we'll show that uh, next week. So do plan to join us for that. And then finally, just want to let you know the day after the Thomasina film, which is uh, Saturday, July the 6th, Bob Simon will be back. We love Bob. He's like one of the family here, wonderfully talented musician, singer-songwriter, and he will be here with his wife, Shannon, uh, to perform a concert for us. That's at 7 o'clock. They're asking a sliding scale love offering between $10 and $30, but no one will be turned away. So just come out and enjoy some great music with us. That's it for our announcements. I want to say goodbye to those who've been watching online. Special shout out to Amber. We're thinking of you, Amber. We love you. We miss you. And to Charlie and Martha. We love and miss you as well. I hope you're back with us really soon. And with that, let's stand and welcome in our children. Thank you. 